So now let's try some examples. In class activity one, note that I have pasted the three formulas that we just derived on the right side of the screen as a reminder. For the following closed loop transfer functions, T of S, determine the steady state error for the inputs 2U of T, 2T U of T, and 2T squared U of T. So this is our step, ramp, and parabolic inputs with an amplitude A equal to two. So first, let's do the step for T of S equals S plus three over two S plus five. So that's going to be the amplitude two times D naught five minus N naught three over D naught five. So for a step, the steady state error is four fifths. So now let's do a ramp. For a ramp, we're going to have the limit as S approaches zero of two over S times D1 minus N1. So that's two minus one times S plus D naught minus N naught, that's five minus three over D naught, which is five. So we already know that since D naught is not equal to N naught, this is not going to have a zero steady state error because two divided by zero is infinity. So for a ramp, it's infinity. And for a parabolic input, for similar reasons, when we take the limit as S approaches zero of two times two over S squared times D two minus N two S squared, we're going to have zeros here, but because we still have that two minus one S plus five minus three, over five, that two over S squared is going to go to infinity. So it tracks at four fifths for a step input, but it doesn't track at all for a ramp or parabo a parabola, it goes to infinity. So now let's do T of S equals S plus three over S squared plus three S plus three, okay? For a step, we're going to have A two times the quantity D naught minus N naught, that's three minus three over D naught, that's three. So for a step, the steady state error is a zero. For a ramp, we're going to have the limit as S approaches zero of A over S, so that's two over S times D one minus N one, so that's three minus one times S plus D naught minus N naught, that's three minus three over D naught, which is three. So the S's cancel out, and this is a zero. So that is four thirds. So this closed loop transfer function does track a ramp with an error of four thirds. For the parabola, we have the limit as S goes to zero of two times two over S squared. And we have D two minus N two, which is going to be one minus zero. There is no N two. S squared plus D one minus N one plus three minus one times S plus D naught minus N naught, which is three minus three all of that over D naught, which is three. So similarly to before, we can't cancel out the S squares, so it does not track a parabola, the steady state error is infinity. And the final example, T of S is equal to S squared plus S plus one. So first, let's find the steady state error for a step. And this is going to be A two times D naught minus N naught, one minus one over D naught. 
So it does track a step with a zero steady state error. Now for a ramp, it's going to be the limit as s goes to zero of two over s times d1 minus n1. So that's going to be one minus one times s plus d naught minus n naught. So that's going to be one minus one over d naught, which is a one. The s's cancel out, but one minus one is zero. So that ends up being a zero. So it does track a ramp with a steady state error of zero. And finally, for the parabolic input, we have the limit as s approaches zero of four over s squared times d2 minus n2. So that is two minus one s squared plus one minus one times s plus one minus one over one. So we get a zero here, a zero here, and a one here, and the s squareds do cancel out for this one. So we end up with a steady state error of four for a parabolic input. So this closed loop transfer function does track a parabola. In class activity two, Match the following step, ramp, and parabolic responses to the transfer functions in the previous activity. I have pasted the transfer functions from the prior page here, but more important than the transfer function was the values that we derived for their steady state errors. So this first one is our step, and notice that for transfer function A, the steady state error was 4 fifths, so this bottom curve would be A because that represents a steady state error of 4 fifths. Transfer functions B and zero, C had steady state errors of zero. Obviously the one with the more oscillations would be C because it had a third order denominator. And then this one would be B which looks more overdamped. For the ramp input, Transfer function A had a steady state error of infinity. So here is this one because it's not tracking the ramp at all. And then transfer function B had a steady state error of 4 thirds. So that would be this one. And transfer function C had a steady state error of 0. So that would be the top one. And for a parabolic input, transfer function A had a steady state error of infinity. So that would be this one. Transfer function B also had a steady state error of infinity. So that would be this one. And transfer function C tracked with a steady state error of four. It's kind of hard to see, but that is a break of four. And that's this one. In class activity three, for the following closed loop transfer function T of S, CS squared plus BS plus A over S plus two times S plus one times S plus four, answer the following six questions. So the first thing I'm going to do is to multiply out the denominator. So I'm going to have CS squared plus BS plus A over S cubed plus 7S squared plus 14S plus 8. What is the value of A to achieve a zero steady state error for a unit step input? So remember, that means that the steady state error d naught minus n naught over d naught equals zero. So that is only true when d naught equals n naught. So that means that a is equal to eight. What is the value of a to achieve a steady state error of 0 0.5 or for a step input? So that would be ESS is equal to d naught minus n naught over d naught, and that equals 0 0.5. So that would be 8 minus a over 8 equals 0 0.5. So a is equal to 4. What is the value of a and b to achieve a zero steady state error for a unit ramp input? So remember for a unit ramp input, the steady state error equation simplifies to 
D1 minus N1 over D0, and that has to equal zero. So here we're going to have, but we also have to have D0 equal N0 in order to get that zero steady state error. So here we have A is equal to eight, and D1 minus N1 is 14 minus B over eight equals zero. So B is equal to 14. So what is the value of A and B to achieve a steady state error of 0 0.5 for a unit step input? So once again, A must still equal eight. And now the steady state error D1 minus N1 over D naught must equal 0 0.5. So 14 minus B over eight must equal 0 0.5. So B is equal to 10. What is the value of A, B, and C to have a zero steady state error for a unit parabolic input? So remember, in order to have a zero steady state error, the ramp and step have to also be zero. So that means that A is equal to eight, B is equal to 14, and the parabolic input, ESS, is D2 minus N2 over D0, and that must equal zero. So D2 is a seven. So seven minus C over eight must equal zero. So C is equal to seven. And finally, what is the value of A, B, and C to achieve a steady state error of 0 0.5 for a unit parabolic input? So once again, A is equal to eight, B is equal to 14. So remember that for the parabolic input, the steady state formula had a 2A in front. We didn't need to put the 2A in the last one because it was just a zero, but we do have to do it for this one. So two times the amplitude, so this is going to be two times D2, minus N2 over D naught, and this must equal 0 0.5. So two times seven minus C over eight must equal 0 0.5. So C is equal to five.